Hey guys, and welcome to Sky Factory 3 episode 15. We've got a lot to get through today, so this will most likely be a long one. Uh, I need to redesign the mob spawner that we've got below the base. We're going to set up a new mob spawner, which is going to be powered, so we can specify what mobs we want spawning in there. Uh, we're also going to start looking into mystical agriculture. So let's jump into it. Right, so offline I've made a few changes. I've uh, I've discovered these things, uh, travel anchors. So they kind of work almost the same as the, uh, the the elevators, but they will transport you anywhere, which is kind of cool. So if you have one elsewhere, like I've I've got one just there, I can literally well you can name them as well. You can use them like the uh, the. The other uh, transporters, the elevators, or you could literally point at something as long as you're standing on the block, and then you can teleport to it, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's that. That's cool. I've set it up in the chickens, obviously. I've also made some changes to the farm. So let's uh, let's head over there. We won't teleport to it, so you can see the whole thing. I mean, it's nothing special because, as I said, I can't do designs or anything like that. It's very simple, but it looks like a very basic American barn type thing. Uh, but it, it's it's where we're going to be growing our crops. Now, I've already laid it out and set it up the way I want it. This eventually will be multi-layered. I think we'll have three layers or something in here, depending on well what sort of resources we want to start making um, but ultimately this is going to be completely full of the mystical agriculture stuff and um, well we if we need it so yeah we'll, we'll be working on this later today um, but first for our mob spawner so I've already taken out a lot of the stuff got we're keeping the fans so that's not too much of an issue um, but we may use them, but most likely not. So there's there's another thing that we need to get today. It's called uh, mob chunks. So we need to grab these today. And to be able to get those, you need to use this solium dagger. Easy enough to make, not a problem. Um, but we need it for the mob chunks to be able to start using the mystical agriculture. Um, and essentially we're gonna like hopefully the mobs are gonna spawn in here and then we're gonna drive them towards this point here Might have to move that cable um, Yeah, drive them towards this point here, and then we're essentially gonna stab them to death Sounds fun, eh? <laughs> so we're gonna get work on that today uh, I've also moved the beneath teleporter here um, Just so it's not in the way anymore, which is kind of cool uh, I've also uh, made a rain shield, I think it's called, this little thing here. Now you can get it in the loot bags, uh, but as I'm also crafting them and opening them up, um, we're not really sort of doing that, so um, but it's easy enough to, to make and essentially it stops it raining and storms and all that kind of stuff. I've got it set below that, so it's out of the way. But yeah, it's kind of cool. So it, it won't rain here anymore now, which is awesome. Um, also, whilst I'm thinking of it, I've made a few more of these. Now, in total, obviously 15 each. So it's just shy of uh, 50,000 RF we're making now. Um, and obviously this, there you go. Uh, we're back in daylight now. <laughs> uh, this is full up again. But yeah, so yeah, 50,000 RF in total, 53,000 including this um, is, is what we're kind of generating. So we won't need power for a long time to come, which is nice. So anyway, back, there we go, back down to here. Uh, I want to get some vector plates. Uh, we don't need to be stupid fast, but there's there's three levels essentially. I'll, I'll make make one set of each, and I'll, I'll show you the difference. 
Um, okay. That one, and that one, and that one. Oh. All right, okay. There we go. So we've got three of each. We'll set them up in here. So this is... We'll start with the slow and then we'll progress. There we go. Vector, fast, and then extreme. So... And they're directional as well. So you, obviously if you want them to go that way, you can then direct them that way. So it's that one. Uh, we'll do all eight. I going on that that's interesting okay right so the first one green I'm not pressing any buttons this is everything doing the work uh, and then you got the yellow quite a bit faster and the red <laughs> is stupid crazy fast uh, I think the green is gonna be too slow that's slower than walking pace. So yeah, I think we'll go for the uh, the yellow ones, the fast vector plates. Uh, for our mob spawner. Um, it's the yellow ones, isn't it, that we want? They're easy enough to make. Slime ball, bit of stone and sugar. And then obviously dark sugar, which is wither dust and more sugar. Um, and then from that so with a dust block they're nice and easy to make cheap as well once uh, once you start making um, once you uh, do we want that one yeah we do want that one don't we um, yeah one, once you start killing mobs and what have you they're easy enough to make which is kind of cool um, yeah, I forgot I had this mob spawner. So essentially anything that spawns in here, mobs will spawn on these by the way, which is kind of awesome. Um, yeah, and then it, we want them kind of directed this way. That one we can. Thank you. <laughs> no. Are the fan still on? No, it's not still on. Interesting. Okay. That one. Yeah, it was two rows, wasn't it? I have a feeling that I'm going to need more of these. So, I'm going to carry on with this and then I'll cut back to me in a moment once this room has been filled with these. Okay, so that's the room filled with these. Uh, so what we need to do now is, well, we can block this off again. I need to go back up and get the, uh, the glass. Was it a dark fused? on here so we can block that up so that's not a problem and then we're going to want a um, mechanical user and we want the solium dagger yes let's go tool thing we'll make a couple of these oh how do we make this solium ingot Solium dust, soul dust. Solium ingots. To get solium ingots, you need solium dust. Solium dust is soul dust. Yeah, that's fine. That's just that. That's not a problem. 
Let's get soul dust. Get soul stone. To make soul stone, you get that. well craft that okay so that needs to go from there what do we need to cook solium dust solium ingots that's solium dust and then it gets cooked. That's everything, isn't it? And that one as well. That's soul dust. Solium dust. Okay. So that, 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 and that go in there. And these two should go in there. Now we need to make that prudentium. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, prudentium. Okay, to make that obviously, yeah, I've I've made a, a few of these previously. No, we're not we're doing this one. Ah, they're upstairs. That's fine. We'll make another one. We'll make another one. Okay. Is enough to make. Gentium essence. We'll make. We'll make that much, I think. Just so we don't actually have to worry. Now, if we make the dagger, fingers crossed, we'll make five of these. This should. Should work? <laughs> I'm hoping. Waiting for item solium dust. Yeah, it's got stuff. Machines in use. Mm, pretty sure it's not, bud. Oh, it's alloys only. Okay, so. Right, we need to set up another machine. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna set up another machine with a crafter on it. Uh, crafter. Oh, wrong one. That one. And go there. And a machine might help, mine it? So it's uh, alloy smelter. on top. Uh, where's my Yeta wrench? There you are. These two in there. With any luck. Are you going to work? I think it's working. Maybe. Tell you what, let's cancel it and do it again. Now we've got. I do one and see what happens there. There we go. It's working. Cool. All right, I'll be back once that's finished. Okay. Cool. Now that's done. We'll uh, we'll take. Our dagger. We'll make we'll, we'll make a couple more because they yeah, tend to use them rather quickly. That's not too much of an issue. So let's go downstairs to the mob spawner. Holy moly! Well, at least we know the vector plates work. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be. Interesting. Oh, wow. 
Oh, thank goodness for my. Ah, oh, don't explode. Okay, well, that happened. Let's use our mechanical users. We'll put them there, and they need to face the other way. And uh, we'll put it in this one here, I think. So we want a left click. Use up left slot only. Use item. There we go. So, with any luck, where are you going, Mr. Enderman? Oh, you're up there. With any luck, that will capture some mob souls for us. Uh, sorry, the uh, the mob chunks even. There we go. <laughs> We got one already, nice. Sweet, so I'm gonna wait for a while, uh, let the mob spawner do its work, and hopefully when we come back, this is gonna have a fair amount of them, and then we are going to start working on our other mob spawner. Okay, so it's been a little while. I mean, as you can see, we've got some lovely little chunks going on there, which is nice. Um, I did have to make some changes to my mob spawner, however. Um, <clears throat> I got rid of... Well, I had to oh, pretty much rebuild the entire thing, which was rather annoying. There was uh, a lot of light um, leaking into the mob spawner and, and what have you. It just wasn't working as efficiently as it could. I do have a mixture of the cursed earth in there along with just plain um, concrete blocks. So hopefully we're gonna get mobs spawning in there with any luck although by the looks of things i'm not sure that the curse earth works under the vector plates um i haven't seen anything spawning under that well on top of it even so yeah i mean i could do some testing but uh not sure so yeah i've, I've left the uh the normal concrete round and we'll see how it goes anyway and we, we've got we've got some uh got some chunks so anyway let's let's uh, let's go and process those so the chunks uh what have we got tier one mob chunk i've already processed those once we'll go over these so that's the spider chunk skeleton chunk creeper chunk and zombie chunk to process these correctly, we are going to need to essentially cook them. Nice and easy. We'll import those into there. Uh, no, wrong one. Export those into there. There we go. So they're now processing. They'll cook up. And they'll turn into these mob chunks now from that uh, we will be turning them into uh, wither seeds now obviously these are tier 5 um, mob chunks we need wither skeleton skulls which we will get at some point but it's gonna take a while unfortunately um, but for the meantime, I mean, let's let's uh, let's work through the chunks, get these all processed, and then I will start going through how to start making the wither seeds. Okay, now they've been processed. Let's um, let's look into making the uh, the wither seeds that we want, shall we? So if we uh, type this in, wither seeds. So we need wither skeleton chunks, it's fine. But we also need tier five mob chunks. So we need to turn everything that we've got into tier five. So let's mob chunk, there we go. So we've got a lot of tier ones that we need to turn into tier twos. Now, how do you get it into tier twos? 
Yeah, that's fine. Tier two mob trunk. Okay, so we need Prudentium Essence. Now, I've got some of that, so let's do that. Okay, so they're now tier twos. Uh, tier three? Do we have any of that? No, we don't. Okay, so we need to make into medium essence. Now, let's give this a go. Okay, so we've only got 49 of that. So we've got to make the uh, Prudentium and then go from there. Okay, so that's Prudentium. Yep. <clears throat> then we need Intermedium. And that's all that's going to give us. Uh, so let's try that out. Is that enough? That is enough. Nice. And then we need uh, Tier 4, which is Superium. Well, okay, we need to do that all over again. Let's make Superium. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, this one here. Intermedium, sorry. We'll make Intermedium. We we'll use that one. Tier 3, Tier 4. Wow, this stuff gets used so quickly. Is that enough for all of our mob chunks? Although we're not going to be able to use that many just yet, so that's not too much of an issue. Let's go to tier 5. Oh, do we not have any more? Ah, there we go. To premium essence, 51. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Tier 5 mob chunks, is that enough? That's enough. Okay, so that's going to give us 25. So, let's see what we can do with 25. Uh, with the seeds. Oh, we need tier 5 crafting seeds as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can actually set this up to automatically make this. Funnily enough, it looked like I was looking into it. Uh, so it's Prudentium, and then uh, where is it? Uh, Intermedium. Ethereum, and Supremium. Now, do we know how to make the crystal? That's an infusion crystal. No, okay. Cool, all right, let's put these. Where can we put these? Uh, we won't put them in here. We'll have, give them their own crafter. So, with the uh, seeds, we want tier five crafting, uh, okay. We'll put those in as well. That's tier five. Tier four. Tier three. Tier two. Tier one. Oops, wrong one. And then the base crafting seed. Uh, 
roses and that one was meant. So let's put this in here. And then we'll make this as well. That can go in there. And then with any luck, we can make wither seeds. Let's see, can we make 10? No. <laughs> uh, what are we missing? 18. Oh, wow. Uh, four? Can't make four. With a skeleton skull. I thought we had some. We do. So we got 18. We make one. Available. Eight. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, well I'm going to let that craft and um, I'll be back shortly. Okay, well out of all of that we've managed to get two seeds. That was a lot of work for very little, I must say. Um, but is what it is, and not too much of an issue, I suppose. But let's get them down, let's get them growing. Um, and hopefully, they'll grow at some point, and we'll start getting some essence from them. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, once, once, uh, once, we, there we go. Yeah, so they are growing, which is kind of cool. So once we do start getting some essence from them, we can then make more, which is cool. Sweet. Uh, we'll turn that off. Save on power a bit. Okay, so whilst I was sorting that stuff out, I did. Oh, nice. I did make this little beauty now it's not finished yet but uh, so we want some of this we'll finish it up now oh hello there we go so it's pretty much dark and it doesn't really matter I only put the glass on so we can just see what's going on um, so that is going to be for our powered spawner, which will also get us some wither uh, skulls, which we're going to need. So I've hooked this up kind of like this. I've got a hopper there for, well, for collecting items. Um, the XP and all that kind of stuff is uh, it's been stored. I need to sort that out. Yeah, I need to root that either to its own little obelisk or potentially over there, but I'm not quite sure I like this. I may just give it its own little um, connection up to the RS system and its own little obelisk. I sort something out uh, long term, short term. This is fine for the minute, but uh, yeah. So let's let's concentrate on our um, our powered spawner. Now I've already made one, but I'll show you. Um, it's it's fairly easy. It's the logic controller. Machine base, um, yeah, a skull, vibrant crystals, nice and easy. Uh, craft that up. Now, you can't really do anything with this at the minute. It's empty. So we need to combine that with a, um, let me think, what's it called? So I think it's a, soul binder. We need to make a soul binder as well. Uh, what's that missing? Machine base. Oh, yeah, I've already set that up. Nice. So when that's done, sweet. So if you remember a while back, we captured the Enderman and the Wither Skeleton from the Nether. Um, this is the whole reason why. So let's go plop these down. Where can we put them down? Uh, it doesn't. It's not permanent. 
for now. We'll sort that out later on. Let's get some upgrades for them. Let's upgrade for you. Right, so this is going to require one of the souls and a spawner. So, one of these. So, we're essentially going to change one of the blaze spawners into a wither skeleton spawner. There we go, wither skeleton. Uh, that in there, that in there. And it requires XP, and we don't actually have enough on us, funnily enough. Let's go down here and take some levels. Uh, we'll take a couple more. There we go, we've got 110. That's a, that's a few more. Oh, is it? It's this side, isn't it? So, there we go. That's now going to combine. Well, sorry, that's now going to convert that spawner into a wither skeleton spawner. And then once that's done, we'll take that. The animation is so awesome. We'll take that and we will put it in the anvil and combine it to make the wither skeleton spawner um, down in that new little spawner area that I created. So we're going to need a flux point. Come on, there we go, got flux point. Uh, I'm going to create some more of those just for when we do need them. Uh, what else are we going to need? Ender chest. One of those. And a... No, we don't need the ender chest. I think that's pretty much all we need. Yeah, because I've... I've created everything else so that's that's not too much of an issue right so let's put this fella in here nice so we have a powered spawner nice and they're all getting killed awesome uh, we're gonna need something there you go we get some cobble the range on this thing before we so if memory serves it's why well, it was a nine by nine I could have been wrong but no that's fine that's perfectly acceptable so we are going to put that underneath yeah I knew that was gonna happen Add power with any luck. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, no, hello. Uh, okay, you've done that to me, have you? That's, that wasn't very nice, was it, buddy? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Turn the range off. And what I'm going to do as well, spawn. Let's capture another one of these in case we want to make some more. And then we carry on spawning them. Nice. So that will give us our uh, skulls with any luck. Yep, so we'll leave them there. We'll get some upgrades for this. So that's actually already got quite a lot in there. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I suppose that's gonna pick up other stuff. Uh, speed, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those, and three stack upgrades. Nice. Now, uh, one, Let's make an... Oh, you're spawning on top, are you? Well, we can fix that problem. Uh, let's get a... 
mob fan and height width three of those and we'll also get distance six of those I think they only do one block um, okay lever Now, yeah, this is going to make it look a little bit ugly, but actually, I suppose we could do it from the back. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, no, go down one. Yeah. Let me turn that round. Hoping that's gonna blow it off. Yeah. Oh, they get stuck underneath. Okay. Let's turn this off for a minute. This up. those with our cobble we'll remake this and then hopefully nope that's not where I wanted it There we go. Right, with any luck, they're not going to get caught on that now. And we've lost some of our glass. Nice. And turn the fan on. We should have a height modifier on that as well. Bob fan, where's the height? That's the width. That's the height. We're only going to need one. Nice. So that's hopefully going to get us all the stuff that we need. So that's working. Fine, that's working fine. Now let's see, skulls. Oh, 164 already. Oh, get in there. Okay, so uh, actually, what do we want? Let's go to our farm. How are you doing? Okay. It's going very slowly, but it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, with a skulls, uh, with a skeleton thing, yeah. Can we make this? Have we got another seed? Can we make any more? Oh, oh, yes we can. Well, that's doing what it needs to do. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, We'll put those back in in a minute. How's this getting on? Yeah. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. So what have we done today? We've, well, I've shown the start of the farm anyway, uh, how to make the seeds. Um, we've upgraded the uh, mob farm to get mob chunks. We've done, um, oh, with the skeleton spawner, the powered spawner. So we're gonna get quite a few of those, which is nice. And yeah, if I suspect correctly, we're actually gonna get other mobs in this as well, which, which will be nice. So not only will they spawn in there, they're also gonna spawn in here. 
Um, and that's that's going really, really nicely, actually. I kind of like that. I may put another one in there at some point, just to double it. So this, this is in preparation for our... Ooh. Nice. How many daggers we got left? 44. So I've automated those to um, to pull daggers directly from the RS system. And once the daggers get below a certain level, it will auto craft more. Uh, on this one? Nope. This one. There we go. So it's in there by itself. That's, that's only for the time being anyway. Uh, until we've got enough uh, mob chunks. So we've got a fair old amount of them, which is nice. But, um... Yeah, so this is all in preparation for when we start farming uh, withers, which we're not doing anywhere near our base. We will set up a whole different area for that. Oh, we might may do it down there. I haven't quite decided. I don't like that cable. I think I'll I'll change that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the uh, the the wither farm. We can then make some real progression with nether stars and stuff like that um, and then I think once we've done a few more changes we'll then go to the end fight the dragon get the dragon heart <clears throat> and uh, we'll see how that goes awesome well anyway thank you for watching I think that's everything I don't think I forgot anything no let me check my notes let me see uh, so this will most likely be going blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. So that's that's kind of everything. So change the mob spawner down there. Add that one and then show you this um, and start the uh, the new seeds. Hmm. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.